Claire, Peter, let's get started. There's something we need to discuss. It's still quite confidential and it's highly sensitive, so I didn't put it on today's agenda. Very recently, I was approached by a rather large pharma company. Apparently, they want to buy Innovatica Therapeutics. What? I never considered selling the company before because we're unique, we do great work, and we were successful ever since the start and since the implementation of the question-based clinical development technique made us even more successful. But this is an offer I think we need to discuss. You can't be serious, Frank. You are the company, it's yours. There have been offers before, but you were never interested. I can't believe this. What changed your mind? Can you tell us the name of the company? It's Magnum Pharma. Magnum Pharma? Why does Magnum Pharma want to buy us? There are so many interesting companies with promising candidate drugs in their pipeline. Well, apparently they're not only interested in our compounds, they're also interested in our successful implementation of the question-based clinical development technique. But that's ridiculous. Anyone can learn it. Paul Janssen Future Lab Learning Center offers an online course and in-depth on-site training. Future Lab actually uses one of our compounds as a teaching case. All Magnum Pharma has to do is send that staff to the learning center. That's exactly what I told them, Peter. And apparently they have already sent some of their staff there already. It's not that their people don't know about the technique, it's, it's an implementation issue. I didn't realize they tried to implement it. Yeah. Why did it fail? Well, apparently their classical phase one, two, and three approach is deeply rooted into their company culture. They haven't been able to open up their way of thinking to the question-based clinical development technique yet. So they want us to help them implement it in their company. That's exactly right. They look at us as the ambassadors of the new way of thinking about clinical development. So that's why they want us. Magnum Pharma doesn't want a bunch of highly paid advisors or new managers who only know about procedures and haven't got a clue about content. They want staff members who understand research and know how to apply and integrate the question-based clinical development technique within the company procedures. What will our positions be at Magnum Pharma? Well, that's something I want to discuss. I told them I didn't want to go any farther until I talked about it with you. This is a very interesting offer, and not just for the money. There's some great professional opportunities for the three of us. with CBN Business News. Magnum Pharma, the leading pharmaceutical company, today announced that it's buying biotech firm Innovatica Therapeutics. The 23 billion euro deal is one of the largest buyouts of the year and the biggest takeover by Magnum Pharma since the disastrous failure of its Parkinson's drug Parkamine four years ago. According to analysts, the deal will fill Magnum's pipeline with the promising new candidate drugs Innovatica Therapeutics is developing. The biotech firm has also successfully implemented a cost-effective method for developing new therapeutic interventions known as question-based clinical development. Since the 700 million euro failure of Parkamine, Magnum Pharma has rationalized its development approach to increase success rates and reduce costs. The acquisition of Innovetica Therapeutics fits this strategy since it successfully introduced question-based clinical development four years ago. Eva Jones, CBN Business News.